Hello everyone and welcome to Ylock 4th grade worksheet lesson 15 and so today we'll have multiplication where we find a product, division where we find a quotient and a remainder, and for subtracting we'll be finding the difference between what seems to be four, uh, four one places and word problems. Okay so let's get started. So for our first problem to solve these kind of stuff you're just going to have to set it up like this. And so you multiply everything out accordingly. So you get 3 times 2, which is 6. Well, 2 times 2 is 4. You add a 0 here, 275 times 5. And then you do 2, 23 times 1, which is 23. And then you add these. So you should get 276. Okay, so moving on, we will do something. Let's go with something like 46. So 14 times 19, so 4 times 9 is we know 36, so we're going to move the 3 over here, 1 times 9 is 9, plus 3 is 12. We add a 0 here, and then 14 times 1, which is 14. We add these together, and we should get 262, 266. Yes, okay. So let's do number seven now. And so to solve this easily, you can just do some times seven, which you already know as 46, or you can do 42 times seven. So for this case, let's just do 49. And I'll say, I'll write that as this, so you know where it came from. Seven times seven is 49 times six. So we do 54, bring the five over. 24 plus five. 294. Now let's move on to the next one. So we have division here, and pretty much you're just going to set it up as a long division. So we want to do this. And to solve this kind of stuff, you would just put the highest multiple you can put that it doesn't go over this number. and for the multiples 18, it increases like this, and we just like you can keep adding if you want. And so, this is like 54, 72, and then 90, and then like 118 or something, like that. or 108. My bad. Um, and we can see that 90 is where it stops, so we can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, we just place 5 minus 90 is 9. So, you would have your 5 as your quotient, you would have a remainder 9. This remainder 9 is important to tell, otherwise it wouldn't make sense, because then this would be wrong. That would be wrong. But if you have the remainder, it makes sense. Now let's try something like number 10. That's a great example. So, okay, so with number 10, you want to do the same setup. But this time, you can see it's a really big number. So sometimes what you can do is you can just put the biggest number possible. You can see it doesn't work here, 0. And so you can just put 9 just to test it. And then you can just do. You just multiply this out as is. And then you get 495. So that bear, that's very close to the max. So that does work out luckily. So this becomes 9 remainder 3. Okay, so let's go to subtracting where we find the difference. So it's pretty much just a very sa same thing you've done pretty much all throughout math, but now you just have just bigger numbers. So 6 minus 3 is 3, 1 minus 1 is 0, 3 minus 2 is 1, 2 minus 1 is yes, 1 is just 1. So it's 1,003. Now let's go to something like number 6. Yes. Okay. So number six is set up like this. So pretty much you're going to want to borrow, turn this into 17, or turn this into four because you took one of it. So that's why it becomes bigger. And pretty much you get eight, four minus one is three, three minus one is two, and one. Okay, and pretty much once you have done that, Let's do another example where it's like number 10. Okay. 
Okay, so 8 minus 2 right off the bat is just 6. 3 minus 3 is 0. 4 minus 5, we got to turn on to 14, make this into a 7. So 14 minus 5, well, that's just 9. And then back, 7 minus 7 is 0. So our final answer is just going to be 906. All right, now let's move on to our word problems. So as you can see here, it says three cats, three of these guys, one, two, three, takes them three minutes to eat a total of three fish. Well, with the same rate, how long will it take 100 cats to eat a total of 100 fish at the same time? So you know there are three cats, and in total there are three fish that were eaten within like three minutes. So that means each cat eats only one fish at a time in three minutes so pretty much what you would do in this case is because you have a hundred cats and there are a hundred fish eaten at the same time total total is a keyword and that just means it's the exact same rate there is no change in time it's just it's a lot more cats now so that's why it would be three minutes now let's move on to uh question two so Catherine needs to travel from town a to town C. There are four routes from town A to B and five routes from town B to C. How many different routes can I take from town A to C? So to visualize this, let's set it up. So A, B, C. We got four routes and we got five routes. That's not really well done, but I think it helps. Okay, so because you have four routes, you can go like either way. So you know that you have four, and then there's five of these. So you, what you do is you multiply them together, and you will get 20. Because this is the total co combinations you can go. So like you can go like all the way over here, or um, let's just. So for example, you can go all the way over oh, and then. And you can go all the way over here, or you can go like all the way over here. And it just keeps going on and on and on because for one route you go you have five opportunities and if you have four of them there's a way to multiply them so that's why it would just be 20 different routes so yeah that's all for this week and i'll see you later bye